Hello and welcome to this session dedicated to SAP S4HANA, the next generation business suite. This presentation will drive you through a few product highlights of SAP S4HANA 1709, shipped in September 2017, which is the third release in a row of SAP's digital core. My name is Yannick Pederschmidt, I'm a Senior Director in the SAP S4HANA Product Management and Co-Innovation Team, and it's my pleasure to guide you through these information sessions. Note that pricing-related information will not be covered in this presentation. For this, please reach out to your account or partner manager. As always, make sure you're familiar with the disclaimer for the content of this presentation. Let's start with a few words about the purpose of SAP S4HANA and some release information. Many customers are already on a digital transformation journey. For all of them, a modern digital core is the nerve center of the enterprise. SAP's target is to establish S4HANA as the foundation for every company's digital transformations. Digital core means in that term unified data, something that SAP have worked on together with customers and partners for years. This digital core covers end-to-end -end business processes and provides the single version of the truth it was designed for. However, this was designed with technical constraints from the past. What is expected from a new digital core is today in-memory, real-time data for both transactional and analytical information. Of course, a consumer-grade UX, an active part of the connected world with customers, connected to suppliers, connected to workforce, and of course, a system that recognizes pattern and can serve as an intelligent agent. In short, it's this ability to run your business live. That is what SAP S4HANA is bringing to you now with a third release, bringing new functional and technical innovations. Regarding release strategy now, most of you will know that SAP is delivering one major on-premise release per year. SAP S4HANA 1709 is, as said, the current go-to release. SAP is planning to release feature pack stack FPS for the 1709 release later in Q1 2018. This will be the first of two FPS that will be introduced new, non-destructive and non-mandatory capabilities for the 1709 release. Those will be followed, as usual, by classical SPS's support package stack. As you can see on this chart, the next release for the on-premise market is already planned as well. Of course, customers are able to continue to work with their 1511 or 1610 releases, even if S4HANA 1709 is out already in the market. SAP is planning to support each release for five years, and during this period, SAP will deliver support packages several times a year, as usual. Now let's go into the details of S4HANA 1709. I want to start with some key themes that will come across the entire suite. User experience, embedded analytics, and machine learning. First thing first, end users, so the ones working with the applications. S4HANA 1610 brought already for the first time a harmonized UIC throughout the suite. With S4HANA 1711, we're continuing to maximize the Fiori experience for end users, bringing, for example, additional overview pages for different roles, similar to the already known app for procurement and sales. With this, end users get all information at a glance, with the ability to drill into details, including, of course, analytical and predictive information. Don't forget, SAP S4HANA 1709 is running on the SAP HANA platform that brings a lot of functionalities like embedded analytics, predictive capabilities, master management, master data management, and more. We will continue to embed those directly in the business processes. We call this insight to action, of course, for the benefit of the end users. At Sapphire Now 2017, SAP has announced Leonardo, the digital information system coming with capabilities like machine learning, blockchain, and IoT. Needless to say, then SAP S4HANA will leverage those capabilities in a substantial way. Let me give you one concrete example, SAP Cache Application, which is a cloud service that integrates with S4HANA and utilizes SAP Leonardo machine learning to automate the invoice matching processes. How does it work? It's very simple. The intelligence system derives matching criteria by learning from the historical financial clearing information. Since the model is consistently learning from the data, it automatically adapts to your evolving business. As new bank statement comes in, those not processed by the standard rules will be forwarded along with the open receivables, so the machine learning model can interfere matching proposals. 
Machine learning can capture a far richer profile of customer and country specific behavior without the cost associated with manually defining detailed rules. So proposed matches are returned to S4HANA 1709 and those that meet a specified confidence threshold are automatically cleared for a full automation. A few words on platform now. SAP S4HANA 1709 is running on SAP HANA 2.0. That was already an introduced with SAP S4HANA 1610 with the FPS01. SAP HANA 2 is the second generation of SAP's in-memory database platform. This will allow the 1709 customers to benefit from the latest innovation in database systems like high availability, disaster recovery, backup and recovery, security features, administration with the new SAP S4HANA cockpit. HANA 2 brings as well some advanced analytical processing enhancement in search, text analysis, or even graph data processing. Of course, it brings new predictive analytics and machine learning capabilities that they utilize in different scenarios, in procurement, finance, for example. SAP HANA 2 is providing data management enhancement as well, like data integration, data quality, and data federation capabilities. So whether you are an end user or a developer, HANA 2 will add a lot of value to you. Let's now get a glimpse of the highlights for the line of businesses. We start with the line of business finance. Finance is the angular stone of every business and ACP S4HANA 1709 is adding a lot to existing capabilities. I will highlight only three of them, you will find more. First, as a new capability, let me mention that soft close and prediction that together with the financial closing cockpit is giving the ability to close the books using an abbreviated closing procedure. Second, enhancement to the central finance concept. As you may know with central finance, you can transition to ACP S4 HANA without disruption to your current financial system landscape, which can be made up of a combination of ACAP and non-ACP system, and of course different accounting approaches. This allows you to create a common reporting structure. With 1709, central finance is enhanced with capabilities like shared services in accounts payable, accounts receivable, reversal and correction capabilities, and some financial reporting scenarios. My third point here is cash management that is relevant for all customers. Valuable new capabilities like bank relationship management, integration with bank communication, integration with machine learning capabilities. More innovations are listed here, like treasury. Of course, integration to other systems are in focus too. Ariba Network, Ariba Pay, Success Factors, Fieldglass. Many of the Fiori apps are enhanced, like accounts receivable, accounts payable, treasury managers, inventory accountant, just to name a few. Let me now talk about productions and digital manufacturing innovations, starting with key improvements in operations like new operations, release management capabilities, new Fiori apps for production supervisors, detailed operation control, shop floor item control, and the new ACP Fiori apps for production operators. The embedded ACP transportation management applications come with simplified order integration, replacing the complex integration mechanism used in a former release of S4HANA. This leads to a lower TCO of the application and gives a central monitoring. It includes features like delivery creation according to the results of the transportation planning, which are based on sales orders or purchase orders. Let's talk about sales now. First innovation, accelerated returns processing in S4HANA, or the ability to manage the customer returns and orders without charge. This brings the ability to create, modify, and display customer returns with the ACP Fiori app Manage Customer Returns. It brings automatic creation and follow-up documents such as the credit memo request or return deliveries. Next, the ability to create, modify, or display free of charge orders with the new ACP Fiori app called Manage Sales Orders Without Charge. Other point would be display the contextual information about orders that are free of charge in the ACP Fiori object page, Sales Orders Without Charge, with the ability to navigate to related business objects and access related transactions in the operation system. Second so example in sales would be electronic and digital payment give you the ability to integrate with Digital Payment Hub and S4HANA. In Sales Order Processing, we give you a new app that will help you to check the completeness of your sales document with the new ACP Fiori app list, Incomplete Sales Orders. 
And of course, we have some more innovations for you. Let me pick a few of them covering additional line of businesses. Can you see here? You can leverage Hybris billing for a better support of the digital payments. With a new ACP Fiori app for accountant payable and receivable managers to analyze and trigger actions for open credits, returns, or dunning run exceptions. Another new ACP Fiori apps for the customer financial component of ACP Hybris billing solutions enables you to list the contract accounts receivable and payables lines items and trigger simple actions for selected line items such as reverse, reset clearing, write offs, and more. In PLM shown in the middle of this slide, one very important innovation is a new variant configuration. Variant configuration is used for manufacturing of complex products. The manufacturers have to offer new variants of their products. Very often, new variants are created by modifying existing product designs as you process the order. The important thing is to react quickly to customers' requirements for individualized and differentiating product. S4 HANA 1709 come with a brand new configurator and a new simulation environment. It will utilize embedded analytics capabilities for generation and consumption of CDS query views. For many business scenarios, you will need master data management capabilities. Here are a few innovations. For the business partners, for example, so customers and suppliers, have a scope enhancement supporting documents, payment cards, and more. For the materials, we get now an enhanced data model covering shelf life data and service part management. But there's more in MDM. Here you can see additional innovation for extended warehouse management, transportation management, enterprise asset management, GRC, EHNS management, and quality management. For instance, the embedded EWM is available with advanced e-commerce capabilities and the load planning is integrated with transportation management. Enterprise Asset Management provides real-time calculations of number of repair or time between repair and time to repair. I have two last examples, Commodity Management and ACP Commercial Project Management. Good news, ACP Commercial Management, that is the application to manage business projects oriented to clients, is now part of ACP S4HANA and no longer an add-on. This is as well one example of our effort to simplify the landscape and reduce the TCO for you, our customers. We have covered a lot of ground already with the line of businesses highlights. Let's have a look at the innovation and enhancement for the industry now. Here I will start with public sector. A new business role for the customer service representative is included, TRM. Tax and Revenue Management provide a transactional ACP Fiori app to search from bundles, several smart business apps, and also several main transactions in TRM. Additionally, there's an ACP Fiori app in the budget specialist. All apps are, of course, available from the launch pad. Let me go to Automotive. S4 HANA now provides vehicle search, leveraging enterprise search on S4 HANA. So vehicle search can be processed by general attributes like status, configuration characteristics, historic data, business partners, or any related document based on embedded enterprise search on ACP HANA software. For the oil and gas industry, here are some downstream innovations, like the supply chain visualization brings the visualization of open shipments, showing all relevant inventory and their associated alerts in a nice geospatial presentations or the integration of IBP, demand with traders and schedulers workbench, the enablement of material valuation and the late lock concept. Or finally, data engine capabilities are provided for that industries as well. Now going to the utilities industry, a new ACP Fiori app for the business role meter data specialist is available. It enables you to do some periodic meter reading scheduling get the list overview of scheduled meter reading dates for utilities portions. As well, periodic meter reading overview. Different charts provide analytic content about KPIs, the status and result of the periodic meter reading processes for a specific utilities portion and a specific planned meter reading date. In retail, specifically merchandising management, there's a new Fiori app to extend product for single and generic article with additional fields and features. The Merchandising Management app now enables a two-level BOM for structured articles, for displays and empties. One more important innovation that you can see is coming in the consumer product industry, which is catch weight management. With this functionality, 
You use a parallel variable quantity in inventory management to evaluate goods movement independently of their logistic quantities. Catch weight management is specialized in covering the needs of the consumer product industries in general and the food processing industries in particular. Now going to the next industry solution, banking, that with offering enterprise services in the area of rollover, deferral and capitalization of overdue items for use with the ACP loans management for banking packages. For media now, the application is providing master data objects to allow financial reporting on the title level. Some quite interesting innovations are available in insurance too. For example, the ability to enable insurance customer service representative to capture the first notification of lost data when an insured or claimant calls to report a car accident. Second, the ability to support the capturing of the lost details, vehicle damage, claimant and witness data, and the notes. Third, the ability to provide information like name, phone numbers about the assigned claim handler once the claim is created and the claim handler is assigned. All these covers by different apps. One last example, SAP Agriculture Contract Management is released with S4HANA 1709 as part of our effort to simplify the ERP landscape. Before we end up this session, I'd like to bring two more things. What tools are provided to support you to move to S4HANA 1709? And second, where can you find information related to the road ahead? First, let me talk about ACP S4HANA Migration Cockpit. The ACP S4HANA Migration Cockpit is a new migration tool that is shipped exclusively with ACP S4HANA. The focus is to, focus to help customers in their migration process with a new system implementation. The tool is based on ACP's proven migration technologies and is available for the cloud as well as for on-premise. The S4HANA Migration Cockpit is available in the app Manage Your Solution that you will find in the application. Second, the ACP S4HANA Migration Object Modeler. The Migration Object Modeler is a design tool for enhancement and modification of predefined migration object for S4HANA. The focus here is really to give more flexibility during the migration process with new implementation transition scenario by adding customer specific enhancement. Now if you want to find more information on the roadmap, only two places to go. The first is the innovation discovery that will allow you a search on S4HANA future innovations for their business relevance via industries and line of businesses. Second, the well-known ACP roadmaps where you will find an updated presentation for S4HANA already. So see the two URLs at the bottom of the slide to access this information. Now you've got an overview about the highlights for S4HANA 1709, the digital core, the foundation for a company's digital transformation. We've covered a lot of ground. We've covered some teams in the applications as well as the key highlights in line of businesses and industries. But there's more. Please check our S4HANA YouTube channel for additional information as well as all the S4HANA information on the acp.com website. Thanks a lot for joining me in this session.